Tabs, what are we doing here? Yeah, so we've just uh, got the opening launch of the Frio team store. Um, we've got one already set up in Coburn, but it's good to um, have some representation back in Fremantle. Um, so yeah, opening as of today or tomorrow? That's the contractual. Strapping on the car, all right? Yeah, all good, just the corky. Um, so we've got in the uh, early third quarter, but yeah, nothing significant and should be good by the weekend. You're going to uh, Hobart for the first time as a club? Yeah, yeah, so um, good to have a uh, destination locked in. I think it was uh, announced this morning. Um, played some good football in Tasmania early this year, albeit a different venue. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. What's the positive for Tasmania? No quarantine when you come back? Yeah, for sure. Um, as you said, like our seasons are reliant on a couple of teams, whether we go further and progress the finals. but. Um, yeah, we'll, be, we'll focus on, on this weekend and playing some good football. Uh, yeah, it's an added bonus that um, there's no need to quarantine with the circumstances in, in Melbourne and, and, and Sydney. Obviously, there was, talk, so there was talk of Tasmania being an option during the week, last week. Um, when did you know Hobart specifically was somewhere you could be playing? Uh, this morning, yeah, we were informed. We had, uh, yesterday we had off, so um, yeah, we thought that could be a chance um, being a mutual sort of venue. Um, but yeah, we're, we welcome it, for sure. Have you had a chance to look at the venue itself in terms of how it plays? It's got any yeah, differences to other venues? No, I haven't played at Bloodstone Arena yet. Um, you know, we probably expect it to be a little bit colder than um, Perth and uh, yeah, it can get windy, but I'm not 100% sure what the conditions are on the weekend, but uh, as you said, it's you know, a football ground ultimately and um, yeah, I think we can perform anywhere. How closely will you be watching the other games this weekend? Obviously, not riding on a few guys. Uh, yeah, for sure. I think um, yeah, our sole focus will be on the weekend, and you know that's out of our control. Uh, I think is the Essendon and uh, Collingwood game. That's late Sunday, so I think we might even be on the flight by then. So um, I guess we'll find out when we land. But um, yeah, first of all, we need a, we need a win to be any chance. So that's our sole focus. What were the major takeaways from um, the Derby win? Uh, yeah, I think our, our effort was good. It's great to get a, um, a fast start. That's something we've really um, struggled with at times this year, particularly in the first half of the year. We've let some teams get a jump on us and uh, left it till you know later in games to try and uh, mount a comeback. So um, that was really positive to get you know get a get a good start. And uh, I thought there's some great efforts late. Um, in particular, like Alex Pierce late had some, you know, really match saving um, tackles and get some fingernails in. So uh, there was some great individual efforts, but as a team, I thought we performed really well. Uh, very young team, you know, had some injury challenges, but yeah, we fought on and uh, managed to get the win. To be doing to do that without Fife and, and Rachel, how much confidence does that give the group? Yeah, going into the game, I thought we still had, um, you know, some players that. We were all confident that could step up. Caleb Sarong did a really good job of, uh, you know, like uh, being that, you know, um, not replacing Andy, but like um, really upping his output and driving the ball forward. I thought everyone sort of, um, you know, whoever came in performed a role at times, and you know, there's all 22 guys out there. Have you got any update on Fife when he's returning? How he's going? Yeah, I think he had his initial um, shoulder surgery a few weeks ago, and I think only recently he had um, some work done on his, um, some minor surgery done in his hand or finger. So uh, I think, you know, it'll, there'll be some um, limitations with COVID, whether he comes back and he'll probably be subject to quarantine. So uh, when we can see him, who knows? But, um, you know, he's supporting and, you know, messaging guys and, um, you know, messaging in the WhatsApp group. So uh, he's still involved and, um, playing a good role for us. Is it frustrating that your fate's not completely in your hands? You can obviously win against the Saints, but other results are going to go your way. Is that frustrating? No, I don't think. Oh, it's not, not frustrating. It's the position we sort of um, got ourselves in. Like, if you know, there's a few gettable games, you know, we may have not been in this situation, but um, yeah, that's the situation. And I think, you know, if we, if we play a good game against St Kilda, who knows what can happen. We had it. Going back a few weeks ago, we had a few results go our way, and um, you know some other results are probably not our way. So at the end of the day, um, yeah, it's a yeah hand we're dealt. So have you ever played a better quarter than your first quarter at the other night? 
I think uh, recently against West Coast, I've actually got off to a pretty good start in the first quarters in a um, similar situation where, um, yeah, I probably didn't carry that performance through the whole game. But, yeah, I think uh, given the game, it really tightened up. And as a much um, to West Coast credit, they like um, really like dug in for the last three quarters and, and challenged us. And the ball movement probably wasn't flowing like it was in the first quarter. Um, and being a forward, you're off often um, you know, the beneficiary of that. So, um, yeah, I was keen to sort of get off to a good start, as, as was the team, and um, happy to do that. Well, three contested marks, three goals, two goal assists. It's a pretty, uh, pretty handy start. Yeah, definitely, as I said, it helps. It ha certainly helps when it's coming in like it was. I th think our midfield did a terrific job at the start, and you know, our other forwards, um, our small forwards in particular, make my life really easy by... Um, you know, pressure, getting repeat entries and stuff like that, so. Is it easy to replicate that fast start? It's the best start the club's had since 2015. Is it easy for guys to replicate that this weekend? Uh, probably not the, it's hard to replicate, you know, the output in terms of like the score and the amount of goals you kick, but the effort um, is something we'll be looking to replicate. Uh, as I said, like, I think our effort was still pretty good. Um, for the majority part of the game, I think they got a bit of a role in the third quarter. But our effort was there. But um, you know, West Coast being a great team, they um, yeah they mounted a really good comeback and uh, really turned into a scrap. Your partnership with uh, Tracy, he seems to be developing quite well. How do you find that as it affects your game? Yeah, no, it's major part, major part. The other tall forwards, um, even Lloyd Me, who's been playing a fair bit of um, you know he's a genuine ruckman, but been playing a forward role uh, given the circumstances with um, Rory being out. So, um, yeah, they, if they can make a contest, um, you know, and it really takes a workload off the running pressure um, for me coming back after a bit of injury, I'm probably not covering the ground like I would, but uh, Tracy and, and Lloyd are doing a great job of, um, you know, getting to the contests and, yeah, it gives me time to have a spell at times in the quarter. We talk about him every week, but Dave Money, another milestone this week. He breaks the record for the club, breaks the average record. Uh, is the, the playing group or the focus focusing on that a little bit at all? Are you going to do some chats about that during the session during the week? Yeah, I think the major celebration was probably the week just gone, being our last home game uh, for the season in front of our fans, um, equaling the record. You know, it's an amazing effort. Like, I can't even imagine the amount of work and preparation and, and flights that go into that. Um, so I think, you know, we want to respect Dave with great effort this week and um, it's more about keeping our season alive than, than that milestone. But, um, yeah, we, we acknowledge like, it's a great effort and he, he wants to sort of play finals football being, being in the latter stages of his career. So I'm sure he, his focus would be the same. How do you keep your finals subs alive? Saint Kilda are going to be a challenge. What, what do you do to win against them? Yeah, it's um, you know contest and effort. We sort of need to win some contests out of the middle and get the ball moving forward. And um, they've been really good in the second half of the season, particularly the last month. I think they challenged Geelong last week in a really um, hard contest. But um, yeah, they want to finish off their year um, with a win, and you know we want to get that win as well. So. Um, yeah, it'll be a battle. Um, both teams probably haven't played a huge amount of football down there, but um, yeah, we look forward to it. Do you think well, the, the Premier's flag for the finals are played in Perth, the players might have to be vaccinated. Are you aware of many, if, if any, players are vaccinated? I don't think uh, any at this stage. I think um, yeah, we haven't uh, been a direct, yeah, yeah, we haven't been directed to get one yet, so. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the go is, whether, you know, it'll be a requirement come finals and if it's here, so... Um, but, yeah, I'm sure the players will be open to anything to keep the season going and um, wherever that may be. Yeah. So you, you haven't had one or you team no. haven't had one? Luke Shuey said this morning that it's a little bit difficult to get vaccinated during the season because you've got a short turnaround for games. Players may be worried about side effects short term and preparing themselves. Is that something that's kind of made it difficult, do you think, for players? Really to kind of make that decision? Oh, it hasn't been a decision of ours yet. Um, and yeah, we're the same with the public. I think it was only open to people in our sort of 
age cohort in the last um, couple of days. Um, in terms of you know, the, the side effects or any lingering sort of illness um, for a couple of days, yeah, it could impact you know, a weekend's performance or it could if it's a short turnaround, but um, yeah, I'm sure the AFL will make, take everything to account and whether it has to be done for the season to go on, I'm sure, yeah, that'll be the go.